This is going to be a quickie. I'm just going to show you how to clean out a, a dirty auto har. Let's see. I've got I've got my model seven and seven eighths here that hasn't been uh, <clears throat> hasn't been dusted in years. Uh, as I if you find a used auto harp and it stayed in the case uh, all of its life, you'd be surprised how much nicer that auto harp is going to be than the average auto harp you, you comes across. I use a cleaning solution um, and a rag and a knife to do most of my cleaning of these auto harps. Um, basically, the dust gets under the strings and makes it almost impossible to clean out. A little rag, a very thin table knife, and a little bit of back and forth. And you can see how much difference that made just right there. Now the hard part is uh, getting up into the corners and getting under the keys. And then once you've got that done, then you can do the same, use the same cleaning solution and uh, a Q-tip and go all the way around here. And it'll take several Q-tips probably to get that all, all cleaned out. But you'd be surprised how fast a beat up old auto harp will start looking good with just a little bit of cleaning. So uh, I just wanted to show that. Um, this paper that has the note names on it is paper. So don't get it wet. Don't soak it down. I mean, you, you can clean it off the way I did. In this case, it's actually uh, um, varnished over, but on a lot of them, it's just a sheet of paper. So be very careful about that. On uh, some of them, some of the paper is kind of loose. You have to be careful about that. But here I am with my crusty knife, and I'm actually going around this way a little bit to try to get under the uh, under the pads. That doesn't hurt a thing. So uh, that will over after a few minutes, I'll have all of this part cleaned off, and a few minutes more, I'll have that part cleaned off, and I can start uh, tuning it because it doesn't need that at all, does it? No, but. Uh, this is the favorite. I've had this for uh, several years, and I haven't tuned it probably since I got it. So it'll need some tuning, and it'll need some dusting because it's been on display. But it's not it's not life and death if, you're, uh, if your auto harp gets a little dusty. The early one, earlier one I have here, the, uh, the wood is not varnished. And when I clean it off, I actually apply some, uh, some uh, nice quality wood polish to it, and it brightens it up. Um, but uh, I'm not going to bother to demonstrate that. Just imagine this looking prettier, and uh, that's the way it will look probably the next time you see it. Just thought I'd let you know that's a good way to clean them up. You don't want to be brutal. You don't want to break strings, but you do want to get into those little nooks and crannies behind the uh, behind the strings. And that this is not uh, an expensive process. The, the skinnier the knife you have, the better you'll be. I, my wife got this at a garage at a, uh, a flea market, uh, and I said, "Oh, I want that one because it's so skinny." So, have a lovely day, and uh, I'll uh, bring more information to you later. Bye.